What is up everyone? Today we are at Pompano Beach and also we'll be going down to Lauderdale by the sea a little bit later on as well. But as you can see, starting out the video right here in the parking lot along the beach. What is the name of that road over there? That's Atlantic. Boulevard. Got Atlantic Boulevard right over there. But yeah, we're going to take a quick walk down the beach here, walk down to the pier, show you guys that. And then we're going to go over to Lauderdale by the sea as well and show you the uh, the beach area that they have over there as well. I'm not sure if the pier is open for Lauderdale by the sea yet, but we will find out. But yeah, I had to drop off my grandparents. They live over here, so I figured I'll come over here and make a video today. All right, let's see what we can find. If you do come to Pompano, uh, Pompano Beach, there is a parking meter that you have to pay at. You just press any of the keys to turn on the screen, and then you just have to put in your, um, your license plate number. And then it pops out a uh, little pay ticket that you gotta go stick in your car. So, fun fact, I grew up in an area close by called Coconut Creek. Um, so, pretty much grew up in this area, come over to this beach all the time. My family they used to have some boutique stores actually. Where that building is now, they used to have their clothing store in there. Well, in the building that was there before they knocked it all down. I really like over here how they have the uh, the short grass for the beach. You can see the pier over there. There's some really cool art they have going right here. It is a windy day out, that is for sure. All right, we are here at the sand. They do have a bathroom and some showers behind me over here. And the pier is right there. And we are gonna go take a walk on the pier. But as you can see, it is beautiful over here. Water over here is completely different than when you're on the Gulf on the uh, West Coast. You know, waves definitely get a lot bigger over here. But yeah, we are going to take a walk down on the sand, walk down to the water, show you guys that, and then we'll uh, walk up onto the pier. There's a guy out there surfing right now. There's a few people surfing, see if we can catch what they're, see if I can catch some footage of them surfing. I love these lifeguard stands, they're really, really cool looking. So it's actually been a, it's actually been a while since I've come out here to this beach. Man, really wish I could just get in the water right now. Lifeguard's blowing his whistle over there. Not too sure why he's blowing it. Really windy out. Hope everyone can hear me through it. I think the the guard on my mic is decent enough to block a lot of the uh, sound of the uh, wind. There's a nice view of the pier over there. Just walk in silence a little bit so you guys can hear the waves. A little bit closer to the water now. I'm gonna try and get a photo from under the pier looking down that way. I think that would be a really cool looking photo to get. Definitely stay tuned for the end of the video because I am going to be putting in photos that I take throughout this uh, little journey today. Tiny little jelly right there. The water feels great. 
I really love the way they did this pier. I like the canopies that are over it. And then it's completely made of stone. Actually, this is kind of what Fort Myers needs to do when they rebuild, make the pier out of stone like that. It's cool, you can see the lighthouse down there for the uh, Hillsborough Inlet. Tell me this isn't a beautiful view standing under the pier here. There's pigeons up there. There's another one right there. I like how they have the uh, surfboards here, like in a runway for the uh, for the uh, lifeguard boats. Oh, we got a sea turtle nest right here. Oh, these guys surfing. You can see a ton of kite surfers down that way. Oh, here he's got a wave. What is that building there? A restaurant. So you got the Oceanic, I think it's called. But it does look like there is a restaurant We're gonna up walk. there. I'll, uh, I'll walk up there so you guys can see. All right, we're gonna make our way up now and onto the pier. I can't play the music too long here, but they have this restaurant here with some cute swings. But I can't play too long because of the music. So here we are at the entrance to the pier. It is free sightseeing. They do have a bait shop here as well. So yeah, we're gonna take a walk down to the end of the pier. There's some cool little signs with some uh, different fish that you can catch here, it looks like. Yeah, we're going to take a walk down to the end of the pier. We don't have too long, but we'll see what we see. I do really like how they've done this pier, though. I, I, these are actually pretty interesting. Actually, the only bonefish I've ever caught was on this pier. So that's pretty funny. This is really pretty. I do like this canvas top that they put over the pier here. There's a park over by the house I don't want to take Hazel to, but they don't have a canvas top over it. It just looks like it's blistering hot when it's during the day. So I do like these when they start putting these in places. Guys, don't jump off the pier. One little thing about this pier, so everyone knows, um, fishing wise, there is not really much of a reef off of this pier. This is all sand for the most part. So if you do come here fishing, plan for a sand type bottom off of this pier. Now the next pier down, Lauderdale by the sea down that direction or Deerfield Pier further down that way past the Hillsborough Inlet those piers are near a reef 
here you can see all the surfers. Let's see if I can catch one of the surfers getting a wave. Don't get camera shy now. We're all patiently waiting. I'm gonna patiently wait with them for the waves that they're clearly waiting for. Oh. Oh, oh, he spotted one. Nice. Oh, someone's got something back there. A bunch of people got sabiki in the water, catching some bait fish. I wonder what this guy's got. Oh, his pole broke. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Well, there goes that. That's the end of that pole. It's a really beautiful pier. I like this, they got this fishing rod holder here. So we are now going to make our way down to Lauderdale by the sea. That is south. And I'm gonna show you around that area a little bit. Yeah. I was telling I was telling everyone on the camera that I love this canopy that they put here. I said that they need to put this over the park near the uh, bridge in downtown Fort Myers. So I'm gonna bring Hazel to that during the day. All right, I will catch you guys when we we're at the car. All right, we are actually at the entrance. I want to show you, this is the Oceanic, and that is Lucky Fish. They both smell amazing. They look like a great place to go, so definitely check it out. Across the street, they have the Baresco. Probably butchering that name. Oh, here you go. Parasailing rides for $89.99 at the Sands Harbor Marina. You can see at Lucky Fish, they're setting up for live music over there right now. And then on the walk back towards the car, so Atlantic Boulevard would be down there. They do have a park here and canopies over it. A really pretty walk through here. Some huge sea grape trees. Pigeon. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't spotted a gumbo limbo tree yet, but I promise you I will find one before the end of this video. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Your support does help me a lot like I say we just hit 100 subscribers so that's a milestone right there so thank you guys for all your support I really appreciate it all right we are now back in the car heading we're gonna turn on to Atlantic Boulevard but there are a few restaurants here you got the briny Irish pub the taco joint Mora grill Did you say Carlucci's is over there they're still there? Yeah, Carlucci's been there. They're really good. Used to be Frank's restaurant. Used to be Frank's restaurant. The Beach Grill, Annie Salon, and there is homemade ice cream over here. There's also a surf shop. Um, what is the name of that there? Miami, Miami Blues Surf Shop. You can see that there. And there is a view down Atlantic Boulevard. Also, if you're into scuba diving, there is a dive center 
right before the bridge there, if you were to make a right at the light, there is the Pompano Beach Dive Center there. So if you're into diving, you can rent a uh, scuba tank, scuba gear, anything you need for scuba diving there, or also get certified there. So anyways, oh yeah, the guy that cuts my hair, or used to, his barber shop is right over there as well on the left. But all right, we are going to drive down A1A here towards Lauderdale by the sea. And we'll do a little bit of footage down there for you too. I'm not sure if we're gonna get out, but we are gonna drive through it and show you guys. Here's a pretty view of the condos along A1A here. So they do have a like mini golf cart tram that drives up and down A1A here and it picks people up and it brings you to Lauderdale by the sea where the pier is and there's all the restaurants down there. It's something new that they're doing, so I'm not too familiar with how it works exactly, but I, I've, I've seen them going up and down the strips here. There's the beachcomber. It's a nice condo resort. Just to correct what I said, the beachcomber is a hotel, not a condo. All right, let's see. I'm gonna spot a gumbo limbo tree here for you guys. Where is it? It's gotta be here. I see one, there it is. Right next to the guy on the bike. There it is, gumbo limbo. <laughs> trying to see if I can catch, oh yeah, look at all these gumbo limbo trees here, a whole line of them. They don't have too much of their red bark left anymore. You know, when the hurricanes come through here, they usually, uh, the wind rips right through here, stripping all that red bark off the trees. Oh, some parrots just flew over. Look at those pelicans flying way up there in the sky. They're just like sitting stationary up there. They look like pterodactyls up there, they're so big. Coming up here on the right, you have Sea Ranch Lakes, the uh, shopping center. So there's a Dunkin' Donuts in there. There's also a Publix in there. So if you do stay at a condo or a motel around the area, that's where your Publix is gonna be on A1A. It's really beautiful in there. My grandparents also owned a clothing store right over there under the dome. Their store was in there. So for the little Fun fact. Also over here, the police station. They, it's an old motel and they turned it into the police headquarters over here. It's kind of funny actually. Lots of bicyclers over here. police station coming up. I always thought this was interesting to look at. And there it is. And that's Town Hall. Alright, and then in the next, the next light here, this is commercial. And this is where Lauderdale by the Sea is with the pier. Right next to the Driftwood Beach Club. So here is some of here is some of the restaurants that they have over here. Taco Craft. Oh. Oh. Well, all businesses are open, but it looks like they're doing construction on the road. So we're gonna go down further. We're gonna go around it. Hopefully. Oh wow, that food smells That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that food smells good. <laughs> So we just went down to the next light. We're gonna make a left here. We'll see what we can see from the road. Over here, it does look like there's another little detour sign. But yeah, we're gonna make a left here. Oh, look at this guy, he's got his dog in his, on his bike. All right, here we are coming up on where the pier would be. So the pier is gonna be 
once we get to that stop sign, it's going to be down the left, or on the right, my bad. Down on the right. Here you can see all the different restaurants just passed by. Mulligans. 101 Ocean. It's a really beautiful strip here. There's the pier. Underneath. Yeah, there's the pier down there. This is Aruba's. Yep, we got Aruba's right here. The Beach Cafe. Parking is ten dollars. So maybe we can find somewhere to go and walk. <laughs> Over there, it looks like we got the El Mar Cafe, the Village Pump, or the Village Grill, and then right next to it, you got the Village Pump, the Cocktail Lounge. Oh, here is one of those. Um, Circuit, that's what it is. The circuit download and ride. So here is one of those right there. Just getting a good camera view of them for you guys. He's probably wondering why the heck I'm filming him. But that's all right. Probably thinks I'm gonna complain about how fast and crazy they drive through the town. <laughs> I've seen them, they come flying through. But, oh yeah, you can see there's another one parked on the left over there. So yeah, these circuits, they're like a little tram system that they have going through a little pretty area back there. They have an app. Also, fun fact about Lauderdale by the Sea is it is the diving, shore diving capital of the world. So the reefs right here they're beautiful to dive at, and you can dive to them right from the shore. It's only about maybe a 300-yard swim out from the beach to get to the first reef, and there are three main reefs here from the shore that most people dive to. But all right, we are going to find somewhere to go have lunch, or not lunch, dinner. Possibly Flanagan's, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah? Yeah. Flanagan's but we might go to the one that's a little bit further out closer to 75 because we are about to drive back to um, Fort Myers I do live in North Fort Myers so everyone knows that's why the majority of my videos are based out of North Fort Myers so yeah but yeah we are going to make our way back towards that direction probably I'll try to pull out the camera in Flanagan's and record some of the food for you guys because if you do come over here that is definitely a must go to place to eat at. It's 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 a local favorite. So yeah. All right, I will catch you guys there. All right, I'm back before Flanagan's already. Um there is actually a place here. If you can see it, Las Patas Hoagies. There's no one behind us. We're slowing down so you can see it. Las Patas Hoagies. The subs, or I might as well call it a hoagie, the hoagies there are really good. Probably one of the best you'll have. So definitely stop by there when you're down here. You will not regret getting a, a, a hoagie from Las Patas. The monster. The monster is the one I always get, yeah. So it's a, it's a massive sub. Here's a view of the intercoastal. But all right, we'll catch you at Flanagan's. All right, here we are now at Flanagan's. We're at the one by the Weston, or on Weston. The uh, Cleveland Clinic is over there, so 75 would be running this way over towards Naples. But yeah, this is Flanagan's. So my clips can't be too long, so I'm probably gonna just do some photos, or I might just—I'm just gonna cut the sound out of this and just maybe narrate over it because of uh, the music in the background.
We got the garlic rolls. They are so good. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude tonight's video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. The food was great here, so definitely come and check out Flanagan's if you are over here. Um, that's, we're just going to continue our drive back over to Fort Myers now, so hope everyone had a good day. Have a good night, and enjoy.